Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Crucial T700 Gen 5 NVMe SSD. I did receive this sample to check out today, but I want you to know that any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Take a look at the retail box and packaging. Everything looks great. If you're wondering, this drive is available in multiple storage capacities and variations you can get it with or without the heatsink. We have the two terabyte version here with heatsink. This is a Gen 5 drive, and you'll see this amazing little sticker down here with advertised read speeds up to 12,400 megabytes per second. You heard me right, 12. 1400 so blazing fast gen 5 speeds we'll see if we can get anywhere close to that with our own testing now let's go ahead let's open it up and see what's inside here are all the contents first up we have our product literature walking us through how to get started and to contact support in multiple languages next you'll see we have the drive itself and this guy looks awesome so cool very tall for this heatsink they went the tall route here but look at that up close. You can see all the way through there. Pretty neat. And then the very bottom is going to have some product info for us. Again, we have the two terabyte version. You can learn more about the Crucial T700 there. Now let's go ahead. Let's get this installed. Installation simple and straightforward. Identify your Gen 5 M.2 slot. In our case, our board actually comes with a heat sink, but for this testing, we're gonna test it with their heat sink already installed. So we're gonna line up the drive. It's only gonna fit one way, so be careful with the pins. You don't wanna put it in the wrong way. So in this case, with the heat sink installed, kind of gonna be hard to do, but if you have the version without, just make sure you don't do it wrong. Then just line it up, gently press in, and now we have to take this little lever here in our case and slide it around and now everything's locked in place and we're ready to try it out boy oh boy let me tell you this is the first time i've ever used a gen 5 drive and that is amazing i've never seen scores like this in real life so here we go using crystal disc mark you can see our results also want to preface this by saying that they advertise up to 12,400 megabytes per second for our read speeds and 11,000 800 megabytes per second for our write speeds. And we got so close to both of those results with Crystal Disk Mark, so count me impressed. I'm sure they've tweaked and optimized to be able to make that claim on their system. This is just a run-of-the-mill MSI board with um, an AMD 7700X in it. Nothing special there, right? But we do have that Gen 5 NVMe. And again, it's not disappointing here. So we got a score using Crystal Disk Mark of 12,340 for our read score and a write score of 11,774. So if we round those up, we got the exact same total that they did, which is great. And then typical, doesn't matter whatever drive we're doing, we always see lower results with ASSSD, but I found this super interesting that we actually got a lower read score than our write score. So in this case, we got a read score of 9,267 megabytes per second and a write score of 10,280 megabytes per second. Now, I'm not complaining, but I thought that was unusual. We actually ran that test a couple of times, and this is the average that we're seeing each time. So not sure why that's the case for that particular test and what it's doing differently, but at these speeds, you know, I guess for a certain application, it might matter to you, but Oh my goodness, this is amazing. So can't believe we're seeing those speeds in real life on a PC that we built, not in some far off, you know, trade show, you know, future model coming soon sort of thing. So that's real world tests and speeds that you can get as well. 